so what we have here, um, although this looks very complicated, um, if we just take it out of here for a moment, what we've got is we've effectively got a shaft going in which then connects to a generator. It's actually a motor or, or a generator, it can switch between the two. So this is a brushless DC motor, but we're going to use it as a generator and it just um, produces a three phase output which is not entirely sine wave, it's just a little bit square on the top. But the interesting thing is this bit, and this is what it's being created for, it's, it's a prototype um, for the Tesla turbine and it's a magnetic coupling. So there is no, it's not immediately obvious, but I will take it apart in a moment so you can see the inside. It's not immediately obvious, but there is no physical connection between this shaft and this motor, despite that when I turn it, everything moves. And the way that it all works is that there is a seal that um, completely seals the internals of, the, of the, the actual turbine, and there's some magnets on the inside, and there's some magnets on the outside and they're positioned accordingly so that when the one rotates, the other one turns with it, it's forcing it round. And you think, well, okay, how does this work? So what we can actually do is lock it in place. And if I, with the lathe, if I, the lathe can actually pretend to be the actual turbine. We can then just hold this in place and just, uh, do that so that's that's good so you can see that there's a little bit of movement there um, and you can feel it's a little bit coggy because of the motor if we spin this up it's quite free there's not many eddy currents and what I can then do is I can actually generate in just on one phase and if I connect all three up carefully. Easy said than done. There we go, we've got all three bulbs lit up. Now obviously they will be a lot brighter when it spins faster. At the moment we're only doing about uh, 1600 RPM. Um, but as the, uh, once the turbine's running, which will be running a lot faster than 1600 RPM, this will be much higher voltage and we can turn that voltage into DC when we want to. So this is just a little prototype just to test that the magnetic coupling is going to work. And yes, it's going to work.